Good afternoon, this is Sunday, and this is my cabbage that I grew. And I mentioned in an earlier video, I had a bunch of cabbage, so it appears the rabbits got to it and ate everything. This is one that he didn't eat, and I think I'm going to harvest it today. Take it out. My mother-in-law loves cabbage, so she'll get a chance to cook this cabbage. Uh, the thing that kind of, it doesn't disturb me, but I find peculiar is this cabbage grew really well. You can see it has a nice head on it. It looks good. But right across from it in this other pot is another cabbage. And it's all leaves and no head. So I don't know whether I'm going to pull it or just leave it there to see whether or not it eventually develops a head. I don't know whether it's going to develop a head or not. So I'm going to leave it out here maybe another two or three weeks and see what happens. This one on the other hand, I'm going to take it out. And as you can see, I've taken the time to protect this one with some regular netting that I uh, bought from Amazon.com and then let me show what I did to protect it. You see this is, the netting is right here. I pull the netting off so the squirrels, so the, uh, not rabbits, but the squirrels were the ones that I got. I said squirrel, but I mean rabbits. And I got this plumbing right here and this actual draining plumbing that you use for uh, water in your garden. I got it from, uh, from Home Depot. It's in uh, aisle 9A. Not aisle 9, but aisle 9A. And I found this. Now, all you have to do is just take it and cut it in a length to fit what you want. Now, to make sure that it stays in the ground, I had some bamboo stakes that I used for tomato and eggplants earlier last year. So what I did was, I took those stakes, and you can see one right here, and I broke them into pieces and put them in the ground. And then I just attached the bamboo, I just attached the drainage pipe on either one of them, on either side of it. And it's a quick and easy method to protect small vegetables such as cabbage and also strawberry patches. Now it may not work for a larger garden, but for small patches that you got, like a four by four that I normally use, although this is a, a pot I normally use, grow most of my stuff in four by fours, this was just something I decided to use since my wife uh, wasn't using this during the uh, winter time. But the summertime now, she's going to want her pot back, so got to give it to her. But that's a way of protecting your plant, uh, like I said, strawberries or other small crops and cabbage, so that the uh, rats, squirrels, rabbits don't get to them. In my case, squirrels. So. And I got five pots out of here, only two of which belong to my wife. So I'm going to take the others and I'm going to plant probably um, a tomato plant in each one. The only issue is whether I should I leave this tomato plant out in the front yard or should I put it back in the garden. And I know it's unusual to have a tomato plant in the front yard, but frankly, I don't see any reason why you can't have one. So I'm gonna put this tomato. I'm gonna plant some tomato plants in the uh, in the front yard. So two things you're gonna see. These two things you've seen already today is you've seen this nice looking cabbage, and you've seen the method that I use in order to protect the cabbage from vermin. And I haven't had any vegetable. I haven't had any insect damage to it to it at all. So I don't know if these are uh, immune to insects or insects just don't don't like it. I don't have the slightest idea. But anyway, here goes nothing. And there it is. Just came straight out. Was there. Now it's here. And you can see that soil still looks pretty rich. So like my wife can put her plant seed, her, uh, her flower seeds in it and be happy. I'm gonna take this thing into the house and I'm sure my, my, my uh, mother-in-law is gonna make a meal out of this sometime this week. Maybe as early as tomorrow. But I think she'll be very glad to see this, uh, this large cabbage. So what I've shown you today is, as I stated earlier, is a large, well-grown cabbage, if I may say so myself, and a means of protecting your, your, uh, your small crops from, uh, from some vermin. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Thank you.